Who's ready to go camping? Me! All right. Here we go. Hello, folks. I'm Lee Pickard of Mid-State RV Center, and welcome to another edition of the RV Show. Today, we've got some great things for you. It's a beautiful, sunshiny day here in Byron. And let me tell you, one of the suggestions you sent in was you'd like to see more of the show. Well, folks, we've added 30 minutes to it. Now you get an hour of RVs, camping, and, and we've got some great things for you today. But uh, first, what I'd like to talk to you about is our gotta go row. Billy Barker's gonna come tell you about some big, great examples of pricing and deals that are great for you. So stay tuned. 30 years, 30 years of hard work, 30 years of helping people connect to the great outdoors and to each other, 30 years and going strong as Georgia's number one RV dealer. We're Mid-State RV in Byron. We're American family owned since 1989, and we've been serving the people of the great state of Georgia and beyond with honesty, integrity, and value for 30 years. You want to know what it takes to become Georgia's number one RV dealer? Come see for yourself right here in Byron, Georgia, Mid-State RV Center. Hello folks, I'm Billy Barker from Mid-State RV Center in Byron, Georgia, and I want to talk to you a few minutes about Gotta Go Row. Gotta Go Row is a perfect opportunity for you to save thousands on RVs, whether it's a travel trailer, a fifth wheel, a motor coach, we got them all, and we've marked these units down at, near, even below factory costs. You can save thousands of dollars on these units because they gotta go. And what do I mean by gotta go? Right here. You can see this Georgetown GT5, it's gotta go. Come on and get them, we ready to sell them, and come on inside, let's take a look. All right, we're in the Georgetown G5. This is a super, super nice unit. It needs a home. It's got to go. It's on the row, so it's got to go. This unit has all kind of features and functions that you would love and, and to go cross country in an RV. Uh, leather furniture that has uh, recliners, heat, massage, residential refrigerator, solid surface countertops. It has a fireplace to keep this unit nice and warm, TV, big queen bedroom. It has all the amenities ready to go camping and we'd love to get it ready for you and save thousands and thousands of dollars. Get great fuel mileage on this diesel prism. A 2150CB gotta go row at or below factory cost. This unit comes with a lot of amenities. It has reclining sofas, a loft bed in it in the front cab, and a really, really nice interior with a lot of benefits and features. Now we're going to move from this prison and show you a couple of real nice travel trailers on Gotta Go Row. They all got to go, so you'll save thousands of dollars. Come see us. We got this great Freedom Express. It's a bunkhouse. It's got to go. It's on the row, and you can save thousands of dollars a day at Mid-State RV. Come on, let's take a look inside this unit, as you will get a great, great deal. This Freedom Express will sleep eight people. Wow, that's a lot of folks. Y'all come on down and see it. It's got bunkhouse, it's got a double bunk on the bottom and top, and it's ready to go camping. All wood cabinets, big TV, it's got DVD player, whatever you need to, to have a great time camping with your family. All right, we're back on Gotta Go Row. We got a Cherokee Alpha Wolf. This unit is loaded with anemones. It's a rear kitchen, very, very nice. Um, it's got all the benefits and features you want, a very unique floor plan, very lightweight, and even won best in the show at the RV show last year. Come on and see it. You'll save thousands of dollars on this unit. Come on inside. Look at this rear kitchen Alpha Wolf. All kind of anemones, all kind of features. It even has a big old pantry put all your canned goods and, and groceries in. Big refrigerator, microwave, oven, stove top. Has two nice recliners in here. Think about sitting back, relaxing, watching your favorite show while you're camping. It has a, it has a nice big flat screen TV. Even has a fireplace to keep you warm on those cold winter nights. <clears throat> Huge bedroom. Got a nice big walk-in shower. 
Uh, you can access the uh, bathroom either from the camper side on the door side or you can come in through the bedroom so that your company don't disturb you while you're sleeping. How about this Chaparral front living? It's a 370 front living. It's got all the bells and whistles you want. Uh, very unique floor plan. There again, aluminum construction, Ansdale walls. You can't buy a better fifth wheel in the market today. This is actually Forest Rivers number one selling fifth wheel for three years in a row. You really need to come down and see it because you'll save thousands and thousands of dollars. Like I said, they're at, near, even below factory costs. You can get a great deal at Mid-State RV Center today. Come on, let's take a look at it. This front living is very unique, folks. Hard to find these RVs like this. Look at, look at the nemities you got here. You got two full-size sleeper sofas. You got a Thomas Paine reclining love seat, a big flat screen TV with a uh, fireplace to keep you warm in them cold winter evenings. But uh, man, you just can't buy a better RV fifth wheel than you can in the Chaparral. Let's take a look at some more things about it. Really a nice kitchen. I tell you, you could, this will just like being at home cooking in your own custom kitchen. Solid surface countertops, big microwave, oodles of storage, all solid wood cabinets, uh, big residential refrigerator. You can pack that full of goods, take it camping, and, and cook like a gourmet cook in your very own kitchen. Come on back and let's look at the bedroom. This unit is very spacious. It has a king bedroom with a nice uh, wardrobe cabinet, place for big TV, lots of storage, overhead cabinets. Man, you'd sleep like a king and a queen in this and you'll save thousands of dollars on Gotta Go Road. All right guys, I just got here backing this thing up. Sherman's excited. All right, who wants to help me set up? Come on Sherman, let's go. Come on, give me five. Give me five, Sherman. Give me five. Give me five. Yeah, good boy. He tried to give me a five. He's silly, though. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on, guys, let's go. Come on, Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, grab him. All right, Bramus. Watch your step. Watch your step, Jules. Ooh, s'mores. What else do we need? We need chocolate and marshmallows. All right, let's take them outside. What's your favorite one? Chocolate, graham crackers? Marshmallows. Marshmallows. You could eat those every day, huh? Let's go. Who's ready for donuts? Me. High five. <laughs> Maybe we'll catch a fish with some donuts. What do you think, bud? Yeah. That's a good idea. They might like that. Ooh. Want a sprinkle? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, I'll eat this one. He right. doesn't have a sprinkle. Okay. Shh, don't tell mom we're eating donuts. Okay. Boy secret. Okay. She might notice that there's some missing though. There was a bear. I saw one earlier. <laughs> do you remember that one time we went camping that we that we saw a bear when we were with Cooney and them? Mm -hmm. That was a hot mess. He scared me to death. He threw that boulder down. I thought the bear was running out. I said, no, don't give me bear. And I looked, and it was Cunio's boulder. Not cool, man. And he was laughing so he was hard. La Everybody was laughing except for me, because I thought the bear was going to bite my butt. We got to make sure we put that away, too, bud. We got to make sure we put the machete away. Yeah. All right, you guys ready? Let's go. Before Mom gets back. Yeah. Grab that. You want to grab Sherman? Come on, Sherman. All right, here we go. Looking for 
car insurance shouldn't be hard. Let Insurance Specialists of Georgia help make the process easy. By providing multiple insurance companies, we are able to find a plan that meets your budget and coverage needs. Our team is committed to providing excellent service while creating a personalized policy for personal and commercial companies. Give Insurance Specialists of Georgia a call today. Thank you for calling High Priority Plumbing. This is Brittany, how can I help you? With over 20 years in the industry, High Priority Plumbing has certified technicians that can take care of any of your residential or commercial plumbing needs. General plumbing installation and repairs, leak detection and repair, water heater maintenance, repair and replacement, water and sewer line repair and replacement. At High Priority Plumbing, our customers are our priority. Give us a call today at 770-860 Eight one one zero. When your whole world is kids, you see them and care for them in ways that others can't. Children's Health Care of Atlanta. The only place for children since 1950. A place for family. A place to relax and get away. A place to explore. And a place to remember. McDonough, Georgia. Conveniently located off of I-75 south of Atlanta. Come visit us and eat, shop, play, and stay. Mason Tractor Co. is your local Kubota dealer carrying top-of-the-line equipment for agriculture, turf, and construction. When you arrive, our friendly and knowledgeable staff will work hard to ensure you get exactly what you need. On our lot, you'll find tractors, mowers, utility equipment, and attachments to tackle any project. Don't let finances stand in the way. We have low-rate, long-term financing options available. Visit a Mason Tractor Co. near you today. Okay, man, I'm glad we were out. Whoa! What is it? Oh, dude, I swear <laughs> to God, I thought... Dude, did you see that snake? <laughs> hey! Stop! All right, hey, okay. glad we're out here in the woods Don't let the today. pole split you. Huh? We're out here at the campground. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The campground. I'm Todd, this is Brent. I'm me. Thank you for watching our show today. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's the Georgetown 378 that I brought out. You did this? I told you. Dude, you slick. Hey, listen, Always. we're gonna show you guys this Georgetown. And we're at the campground. And we are at the campground. We're in Georgia at the campground. No. Yeah. Rainforest of Uganda, no, off-site. So listen, we want to do a walkthrough on this 2019 Georgetown 378 XL. Um, one of the things that make a Georgetown XL great. Extra, extra large, extra long. Sure, either one. Okay. Extra luxury. Is that the Georgetown is on a 24,000 pound chassis. So along with a lot of other stuff, you get these nice big, why do I have a pine cone? I don't know. Uh, aluminum Alcoa wheels, um, and me and Todd are blessed enough that we got to drive this bad boy all the way to the Rainforest of Uganda. We're in Georgia. Right, sure. Okay, where so, do you wanna be at? That's where we're at. <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna walk you guys through this Georgetown XL today, um, show you some of the nitpicky features. I think that this particular floor plan really suits somebody like a wife and husband kind of deal like maybe a for two the best but anyway we're going to show you guys you're going to love it follow us inside come on hey look at this Todd. man this is a nice floor plan do this look, thing look at, look at the opposing slides man i feel like this is bigger than the iphone 10. i feel like i'm on a dance floor yeah maybe yeah look at the table look at the curtains so one of the things in particular 
that makes me say I think this is a couples coach is because you've got the two you've got a couch two recliners it does not have a fold-out bed in it but it's also like kind of the vibe like right. the vibe is like you know well I got that but also you can put an air mattress down here yeah, there is additional. You know, so show them the bunk. Show them the bed up here. Oh, okay. We got Let it. her rip, Tater Chip. All right, so. <laughs> Hold on, boy. <laughs> please back this up. Can we please back? No. They don't, you don't I speak said, to them. I You're just, breaking oh, the okay. third wall. All right, all right. So. All right. Okay, so we pull it down like this. Oh, yeah. And then we're gonna... There you go. I bet you can't get up there. Um, I bet I don't want to get up there. I bet you. you okay. I think we're good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Go ahead. Do you want to get up there? No. Okay, I don't either. All right, All right. Cool. so, so this is nice. anyone who wants to get up here can get up here. I mean, you know, I'm Three, not getting up 325 there. 325 pounds. I 325 believe. pounds is a big kid. That's, that's a very big kid. That's a big kid. That's that kid's but on the But the good thing is we have a big refrigerator today. Oh, yeah. In here. Absolutely. Residential. So, so you could put him in there, too. Well, we could uh, make sure he's got food. Right. You know, easy peasy. Moving along. So listen, this Georgetown has got a 5300 BTU electric fireplace. This is basically a really cute way to put an uh, electric space heater in, in a motorhome. Well, it's a good floor plan because the nice thing is you got the opposing slides, but also wherever you sit, you can see the TV. It's not a really good place. That's right, because the most important thing about camping is watching TV at night. Yes, sure. Watching what? Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke Gun is good. Yeah. You got the drapes to give it a really nice residential feel. I know. Those drapes are groovy. Well, you know, and then also you have a daytime and nighttime roller shades. Yeah, so MCD roller shades, and they're, they're auto, automatic. Oh, you know what? Look. All right, so when you pull up at the, uh, you know, the campground where we are in Uganda, um, you will... <laughs> Go ahead, I'm gonna chill out here. For All right, a you, you kick it, let me demonstrate. Okay, so say we wanna see the guy out there setting up, is he drinking coffee? What? I don't, I don't know. He's working on something. Anyway, so. I think he's working on his, his so uh, right now, setup. So right now, we can see him, but he can't see us, which is a little creepy. Privacy. But if we, if we said, hey, nobody wants to see either of us, then we can do that. That is nice. This is nice. And it's automatic. Anything that has a button connected to it is better. So see, now we're in the privacy of our own rig. And then also, look at this. More privacy. Yep, so you can black this bad boy out. Well, it keeps it cooler in the summer. So listen, let's move to and the warmer kitchen. in the winter. So listen, this is actually a pretty good bit of space for a motorhome this size. Um, that's a... That's a lot of counter space, man. Well, 10 things you can put on this countertop. Um, okay, um, um, crock pot. Um, air fryer. Air fryer. Coffee maker. Coffee maker. Blender. Blender. Jimmy Buffett margarita mixer. Oh, that's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Um, 10 things. I don't think you put this grill. You could literally put all that on here. You can. At one time. You can. But where's the plugins? Oh, they're up here. Yeah, recessed. That's as nice. to not take up any counter space. Solid surface counter. That's right. Solid Heavy rock. So this actually has the new Furion. Um, I don't know why I always talk on these during cookers because I think it's a big industry thing that people say, well, the stoves suck or the ovens suck. And sometimes they, they do. do. But that's a nice one there. But this is like the revised version. So you got cast iron. You got three better burners, in my opinion. And then now they've gone in and built these oversized ovens, or not oversized, but larger. If it's a turkey bigger. or a ham. Yeah, 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 it's a turkey. And don't forget, convection microwave. Convection microwave, you residential could, size. You could do your baking in there as well. You should never put a dog in there, though. No. Um, and for all the um, you know animal lovers, we would never do that. No. So. All wood cabinets. What, what, what kind of wood is that? Go for wood? Um, no, this is um, it's all wood. Oh, yeah. Just that? Okay. I'll go with it. Sounds good to me. Okay. Um, <laughs> they're not gonna add this. All right, you're a mess. Okay, look. All right. Um, they might. Look stainless at them. steel sinks. Oh. Two stainless steel sinks. That's right. Covers. So is you you could put. Don't hit. 
anybody in the head with this. But this could be hurt. used as a weapon. It could. If Keep you it had on to. that first 48 thing. You got yeah. it. If you, if you need to. Large faucet. That's for spraying your kids with when they won't behave. So one good thing about double bowl sinks, uh, as opposed to single bowl sinks, this is something I hear a lot of people talking about. So when you go to put stuff into a double bowl sink, you can put dirty dishes here and wash and clean food or whatever you're going to do over here or vice versa. On a single bowl, to wash, it takes so much more water to fill it up and also it's kind of everything everywhere. So double bowl sink, I think there's some advantages too. Something minute, but I do believe it's important. Wow, you're very passionate about the sink. So that's, I appreciate that, Tom. Good. <laughs> okay, um, more cabinets up here. Yeah. Hidden hinges, by the oh. way. Oh. So they're gonna last wow. longer. Solid. How small. No particle board. Double door refrigerator. This is a residential. This, this is residential is... LG. All right, hold on. Life's good. Okay. All right, hold you know, on. I'm in travel mode. I'm in travel right. mode. Okay, here we go. We're gonna... All right. Whoa, so man, this has got an ice, an ice maker. The rubber is used to keep your doors closed um, when you're traveling so that you don't end up with um, your turkey on the floor. <laughs> Big double door with, a, with a, uh, a drawer freezer situation. Don't forget the filter for clean water. Yeah, don't drink unfiltered water. No. It's full of um, antibodies. Not cool. And Pantry here. But also, the drawers slide out. You can never have enough storage. I don't know what Bryn's doing. You can never have enough storage in your pantry. So, whoa, we got in the shower. What are you doing? Huh? You're in the shower. Yeah, I know. Listen, you know what wow. I always say? I don't know if I could fit in this. Dude, I can fit in this one. You're, you're 6'3", you can fit. I know. I know. Dude, you know what would be cool? Honey badger. We're out here. We should look for one. I, I think we're, I think we're, we're better inside. Safer. You want to do this thing first? Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, so yeah, it's got a vessel sink, which is like, you find that at Five Star Hotel. Bigger, nicer. I've never been to a five star hotel, but I heard, read about them on the internet. The fact that it's so quiet in here makes me, makes it so much harder. It does. But where is the toilet? I mean, it's gonna come up on, you know, in the private room over here. You have a porcelain toilet. Do what? Now see how you're, how you're gonna film this. How you gonna film this? Oh, oh they yeah. got it, they got it, they got it. Oh my boy, he's struggling. Porcelain toilet, very nice. Is that 1080p? I mean. Well, it's, um, it helps with odors and also. No, not the toilet, the oh. camera. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know what the camera is. Yeah, featuring a fully ceramic 4K turlet. That's a Georgetown, man. The Georgetown 378. I tell you what, I remember when you're Grandfather, well, actually, that'd be your great grandfather, my, my grandfather. Ooh, look, armadillo hole. Cool. Cool. Hey, Cruz, be careful with the armadillos. I just saw one back here, okay? Hey, Cruz, me and brother are gonna go down fish a little bit, and then uh, there's not a whole lot of space down there. I looked at it earlier. So just stay, stay close with the dog, all right, bud? In case you fell in the water. We're freezing. It is cold, that's for sure. I got my grip on today. Hey, look, there's a canoe over there. Mm hmm. All right, Jules. I'm gonna sit right there. And I'm it's gonna... gonna be hard to cast. I know. Let me cast a few times and see if we can't make this happen. Okay. Maybe, maybe we can catch a whopper. Yeah. Watch out, buddy. Hopefully. Right, oh, oh, I lost one. Oh, man, he was big. I know it was in the bottom. I remember one time we went fishing with Grandpa. Yeah. With your great grandpa. Uh huh. And he said to stop casting where I was casting because there was no fish there. And I said, Grandpa, how do you know there's no fish there? And then he grabbed my pole and he went just like this. I'm gonna show you where that. And he casted it. But he said the fish were. He said, Whoa, I got one. Just like that. And I said, Grandpa, how'd you know they were there? 
He goes, well, you've casted the same spot 47 times, haven't caught a single one. I was going to try somewhere else. You never know. So let's see if we can catch one. Got to cast in a different spot. Every time. That's a big one. Oh, did you see that thing? That oh, man. Oh, we got to get out of here. We got to go tell mom this story. This is crazy. Man. Hey, buddy, don't let the dog come down here. It's real steep. Call it a day. All right, we'll chalk that up to experience. Come on, grab the toolbox. I'm in the tackle box. Give me that, Bubba. Thanks, baby. Well, maybe next time. We'll get a better line and we'll come back. We'll do it again. Okay. Come on, I'll let you lead the way. Got it? It's the one. That's all right. Okay. We're okay. Cool. Got it? Mm-hmm. Here we go. <sighs> you got a thorn bush? Yep. Hot diggity dog. Watch out with that thorn bush. Oh come on, Sherman. Come on, Sherman. Here we go. It's time to get your mobility back and Mobility Warehouse can help. Your Medicare insurance can now cover a large part of the purchase price of many of our most popular items. Wheelchairs, scooters, rollators, and more. We have a large showroom so you can try before you buy. We deliver and service what we sell. Mobility is more affordable than ever. Come by and see us today at Mobility Warehouse in Stockbridge, Georgia, serving all of Metro Atlanta. When your doctor prescribes an MRI, CT, ultrasound, or x-ray, you have a choice. At Allegiance Imaging and Radiology, you will have access to convenient online real-time scheduling, experience our friendly and knowledgeable staff, and receive diagnostic testing from our best in-class technologists and radiologists, ensuring shorter testing times. With multiple locations that are open seven days a week, we are committed to creating a standard of care and patient experience second to none. Choose Allegiance Imaging and Radiology and let us prove our unprecedented commitment to you. Here at Drift Through Coffee, we believe that gourmet coffee can be served quickly without compromising quality. Our coffee is organically grown and purchased through fair trade, so the farmers receive a fair price product. Drip Through Coffee has a wide variety of beverages from coffee to tea lattes and espresso. So swing by Drip Through Coffee and start your day off the right way. Sixth Street Pier invites you to a relaxing and refreshing dining experience. The farm fresh ingredients and delicious handcrafted entrees will satisfy your taste buds. An incredible ambience to make and meet new friends. Daily, you will find all wines by the bottle half price and happy hour specials. If you're looking for the taste of Buckhead without the dry, here it is at Sixth Street Pier in Griffin, Georgia. Welcome to Mid-State RV Center. This month's tech tip, uh, we're going to talk about holding tank maintenance. Now, um, of course, on your RV, first thing you need to understand is what kind of holding tanks do you have? Uh, you've got your fresh water, which is self-explanatory. Then you've got your gray and your black. Uh, black water is going to be water coming directly from the toilet um, and is going to go directly to your black tank to hold off sewage waste. Uh, gray water is going to be coming from all your shower sinks. Um, all those areas in your camper is going to be feeding to your gray tank. Uh, depending on how your camper is set up, uh, you can have multiple gray tanks or multiple black tanks if you have more than one restroom. But either way, whatever configuration, you kind of you want to use the same uh, procedures when you're doing uh, holding tank maintenance. Now, uh, one thing you want to be sure, uh, a lot of people get to a campsite, and I've heard this many times, uh, a customer comes in and says, hey, you know, I've got a, a clog in my tank, and uh, you start talking to them about what they've done, and uh, one definite no-no is when, when you pull up to a, a, a campsite, even though they have full hookups, you don't want to just sit there and open the black water valve because what's going to happen then is uh, you're going to have uh, liquids flowing straight through and you're going to create buildups in your tank. So you always want to be sure you leave your black water valve closed. Uh, you want to let the uh, tank fill up to at least two-thirds full. And then uh, once, uh, once your uh, black tank is full, then you can dump it. And once you dump the black tank, 
you want to follow that with the gray tank and uh, once you dump your gray tank this is going to flush through and it's going to kind of clean your lines and things like that out um, now also at that same time you, you, it'd really be best if your gray tank was also two-thirds full uh, just to be sure you're getting an appropriate amount of water in there and so if you have to dump your uh, your black tank and your gray is not completely full just run some water in the sink you know get, get a little more accumulation in there uh, once you've dumped your tank, your black tank is really best if you can flush it out. Um, a lot of units nowadays are equipped with a built-in flush. Uh, if not, uh, they make uh, different sanitation sticks, swivel sticks that you can run through the commode. Uh, you could check with our service department. We could uh, see about installing some type of flush in for you. But you want to flush that tank out and be sure that uh, you're getting it as clean as possible and let that run through before you close it back up. Um, immediately following dumping your black tank, uh, you want to be sure that you add some chemical to the tank, run some water in there, add some chemicals. And I'll, I'll be honest, this time of year when it's so hot outside, add a little extra chemical in there. It'll really help to keep odors down and just make for a, a you know, just a, a, a lot better camping experience overall. Uh, that being said, also your gray tank, you want to treat it periodically. Uh, just things going down your sink, uh, grease, um, residues from from cleaning and things like that over a period of time these things can build up in your tanks and cause odors as well so periodically you want to be sure that you uh, add some type of treatment to your gray tank just to keep those odors down um, something else uh, you can uh, over over a period of time, as things build up in tanks, uh, you'll get residues, things like that on the probes in the tank. And these can cause false readings, causing your tank to show that it's you know, two thirds, uh, three quarters full uh, when, when actually it's not. Uh, they make special chemicals for, uh, for cleaning those probes in your tank. Come see us about that. We can show you what to get. Um, another trick is uh, people would take it, uh, put some water in the tank, throw your bag of ice in there and uh, you know, drive around, let that rattle loose and get that stuff uh, cleaned up. But, you just, any way we can help, you give us a call. Uh, that's what we're here for, give you advice, um, help you find the right products to treat your camper. And uh, we just wanna do what we can to be sure you guys get out there and have the best experience while you're camping. Okay, hey, what do we got here? Today, we're gonna demonstrate how we to make a fire. fire. We got fire, guys. They're gonna, they're, they're gonna let us do this. Okay. So listen, up until today, Todd's been making fire with two sticks and pure rage. But now, we're gonna use LP gas in this ridiculously sweet little, like portable fire pot thing. That Look is that. awesome. That's actual lava rock from Hawaii and stuff. All right, so you ready? So turn on the gas, Todd. Okay, ready? All right, get ready. Okay, the gas is on. So, it's probably gonna be pretty simple, but if it's not, we'll figure yeah. it out. Okay. 
Oh, oh yeah. that is oh, nice. Oh, God. Wow. I feel the heat. Dude, this is actually kind of nice. <laughs> it's frosty breezy today, sort of. I mean, not cold, but it's It's going to be in the 70s cold. in two days from now, but today, so it's 50. I don't think even, like, you look at these campgrounds and they've got these... What is that? A hub? I think it's a fire pit. It looks a like fire it came pit off of a hub? tire, like a tire came off of it. Very, it, doesn't I mean, look sand, it doesn't look clean. My thing Sanitary. with it, nothing against it, but I mean, there's going to be a lot of smoke and you're going to be burning garbage and trash. Yeah, your kids are going to be wanting to play with it. They're going to be running up on it. So with this fall thing here. This, uh, this, they can fall in that. Yeah. Good. This is very safe. You hook up the LP bottle. I mean, it's literally like, you know, you can pick it up and move it around. But it's easy to set up and you, you don't have to go out and pick up a bunch of wood and stuff like that. But the biggest thing for me personally that makes it kind of cool is LP gas. So it's really clean burning. Yeah. So if you guys nice. want to sit around it, you don't have to do the old, what do they say? Smoke follows beauty. There is, you don't have to worry about all that junk anymore. It's, well, it's a cool thing. It is, but also, you got some nice chairs over here too, man. I know. Check this out. I could sit right here. Let me see. Oh, man, I'm getting some good heat off of this. And you know, we carry these chairs at our Midstay RV store, which is right across the street from our sales department. That's right. What's the square footage of the store? Seven thousand square foot seven thousand square foot that's almost that's bigger than walmart well we're not walmart we have all of your camping needs and that's what um, our owners designed the store for to make sure that um, we don't want to be a walmart we want to have things that only pertain to you and your family and your camping needs yeah so it, we built uh, lee and tina built the store in an effort to try to cover our customers' needs at 360 degrees. We wanted to be able to sell you the camper, service the camper, wash the camper, do any type of body work on the camper, which is why we built our body shop. That's right. And we were kind of not really lacking in the parts, but we didn't have enough facility. And so now we have more than enough facility. One-stop shop, folks. You know, we want to make sure that, you know, we are the camping the camp professionals experts? and experts. We're experts. The experts. And we want to make sure that you know we have what our customers need. Which includes these these chairs are I mean I'm not gonna leave now. I don't think I am either. So um, you guys enjoy the rest of the show. We're just gonna hang out here, stay warm. Bye. See y'all later. Hey, I thought I was supposed to help with the fire. Oh, you must have got that new toy from Midstate RV. Man, that thing is so cool. Yeah. Where did we get easy. that? Midstate RV. Nice. Yeah. Bremers, you like that? You want some s'mores, Bubba? Me and Luna Whoa. get first steps on the s'mores since you guys ate all the donuts. What Whoa, donuts? That was the bear. Yep, it was the bear. Yep, definitely a bear. The bear. Oh yeah, definitely. Bear. All right, Jeremy, come, come up, up, come. Come on up, up. You get first dibs. All right, come on, Sherm. Good puppy. Abram, get away. All right, here we go. I'm not making Cruz, you gonna help us out with this, buddy? I'm apparently making Luna's. All right, Luna's got dibs. I wanna make one. Do you wanna make one too? I guess I'm making mama's. Julian, you're making mine. All right. Oh, no, 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 watch out, watch out. Watch out, buddy, it's gonna be hot. Julian, you're making mine. Here, Bramus, here's cookie. How are we gonna put this on? Just like that, just one, just one, just one. Come on, do you want your burnt or golden? Golden. Oh, You're gonna help here. You wanna eat that little cookie first? No, I'm gonna get a marshmallow. You want a marshmallow? Yeah. Cruz, what do you think, bud? Cool. It's a great day for camping, huh? Yeah, don't get too close, puppy. Turned out to be a great trip, babe. Yeah. Check out Sherman. <laughs> That's a good pup. He likes that hey, Cruz. Hi, Cruz, tell, him, tell mom about how we lost that big fish. Actually, you weren't there, it was Jules. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so he hooked it, and then Abram, it just came that, off. Abram, scoot that. must have been really oh, is that good? Massive. Yeah, perfect. Abram, bring, come here, buddy. Bring it on over, Cruzy. Be careful. Whoa. Ha ha. Ha That was funny. Looney, you want some of this? Uh, that's mom. Open my arm. Ow. Don't bite my finger. All right, Shishi, here's yours, boo. It's okay. I'll eat it. Look how gold and brown that side is. I love it. Bring it. I need to make uh, no, you mine. one, Daddy. That could be mine. No, it's mine. No, this one's Luna. Oh, that's Luna's. Here, baby. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, hold that for Mama. <sighs> hey, more time, Baba. Chill, 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 chill. It's okay. It's okay. Relax, relax. Here, you just stick. Oh, yeah. Look at that. All right, I need a chocolate, baby. Mm. Is that Daddy, delicious, Abram? I want one. Chocolate. Sure. This one's yours. Actually, this one's Looney's. You want this one instead? No! That's okay. I'm going to have this one. Mm -hmm. Is it good, Luna? Delicious. Again, one side golden brown, other. Is that for me? Woo-hoo! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah! You burnt me. <laughs> you burnt me, bud. <laughs> Be careful. Thanks, babe. Want some? Ow. I bet you just scare me. That don't scare you, bud. Uh oh. We're almost out of s'mores. Jules, did you get your s'mores? Uh, it's a mess. It's okay. It's a mess. You want to close up with this? <laughs> Daddy, I was making this for you. Can't wait till we go camping again. Me too, babe. We've had so much fun. It's been a great trip. Where should we go next? Hmm, maybe we can go to High Falls. Hmm. What do you think, Lena? Yeah. Cruise High Falls sound good, bud? Yeah, that sounds good. Great. Maybe next time we go, you can fish next time. Okay. Come on, fire it up! Sherman. <laughs> At Resurgence Orthopedics, we are dedicated to getting you moving again. With the most specialized physicians offering comprehensive and compassionate care, Resurgence Orthopedics can help you do more. We are Georgia's largest and most trusted orthopedic team. And with four convenient Southside locations, more is right in your backyard. You can now schedule your appointment online. Resurgence Orthopedics, reach for more. 1010 Computers is your one-stop resolution for all your computer repair and IT needs. We offer an array of services in our local repair center as well as on-site support at your home or small business. We also carry new and certified refurbished Apple and PC desktop and laptop computers. At 1010 Computers, your customer experience is our primary focus. All my issues have been resolved quickly and thoroughly. Call us today at 404 585-6253. Fast and affordable repairs for all. At Massage Envy, membership includes more juggling, more outdoorsing, more hot dogging, more of whatever you love to do. Regular body care from Massage Envy can help you feel your best so you can do more of the things that make you, you. Massage Envy, making the best of everybody. See how we can help you at MassageEnvy.com. What, what happens when you put a toaster in the oven? What do you mean? Like a toaster in, in the oven. I don't understand. I mean, you got a toaster oven or a... Uh, I don't know. What happens if you put it in the bathtub? Uh, I wouldn't do that. Someone may die. Your toast would definitely be soggy. Yeah, that's not... That's, oh, hold on, we're back. Oh, the, the, <laughs> hey, you the, guys are back. The, the commercial's yeah, over. Don't, yeah, don't mix electrical with water. That's not cool. Well, I mean, you know.
Yeah. It's yeah. not most of the time. Watch your kids. Yeah, watch your kids. Yeah. So we're, we're in the 1492 Columbus. That's where we are in Uganda. We're in Georgia. Sure. All right. So we're just hanging out. Aren't these chairs nice? It's so This is, look at, I mean, would you take a look at this table? It's like, is it not strange when you get into something like this where it's not like tacky? Well, there's no particle board. No, definitely this not particle wood. board, but definitely like this is suave, man. This thing's slick. This is for your guy who wants to go camping and take his five-star hotel with him. That's right. Check out these chairs. And I know we don't do a lot of camping, but when we do, we go in at 1492. That's right. Columbus. To the max. Columbus. That's right. These chairs are nice. So let's, sh room. let's show them Let's show them the thing. Yeah, let's show them, them the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. So listen. This is, again, maybe a good couple's coach. If you had some kids, you've got a fold-out bed in the back. But who, you know, who takes kids with them? Well, no, a lot of people do, but for some reason, you're just really enjoying this time today, and I'm glad you are. We're just hanging Ooh. out, man. That's right. We're just hanging out. Okay. So listen, <laughs> it's a, it's like kind of your conventional rear living floor plan. Um, this one does have an outside kitchen, which we are going to show you. It's on the other side of this wall, but so smooth. Hold on, hold on, hold this on. This is going to be so up, smooth. Lift it up, ready? What's back there? What's back there? What? All right, so look, storage. A lot In of storage. unconventional places, you could literally put a kayak in there. Uh, <laughs> you could put a kid in there. <laughs> you shouldn't put kids in places Okay, like no kids. That. All right, you could, uh, <laughs> but you you could, could put if blankets. You yeah, yeah, blankets. You could put food. You can put one of those plastic totes full of anything you want. Guns, spears, kayaks, it's all good. Do That's right. Thing. Great storage. Great Fireplace. storage. Fireplace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that Watch Bose it. soundbar? It is, it is Bose soundbar. But Which is like best surround sound you can purchase. Theater sound, man. Theater <laughs> sound. Imagine Black Hawk down in here, man. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got the Fury on electric. What's the BTU Fire. edge of it? Let's, let's look at the... 5300 BTU. No. Yep. Electric 53. heat. 55 trace. You could kick back in this thing. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And, and just enjoy yourself. But look at this kitchen. Let's man. go kitchen, I man. Mean, let's, I mean, let's talk about the counter space. There's enough. What is this? You know what? Let me tell you what this is. This is called F-U-N. Fun, my friends. Fun. I had no idea where you were going with Okay, that. this is... <laughs> this is... Wet bar, this is a prepping table, this is whatever right. you want it to be, but it has an extra sink. Two now. One person could be over here on this sink. So look. And you have a sink over there. Hold on, hold on, I got more. Look at the backsplash, raised it's backsplash. Plus, it's a lazy Susan, or a lazy Brent, or a lazy Todd, wherever you want it to be. You can put bottles in there. Glasses in there. Well, you don't want to travel with glasses in there. You're you're missing the largest mechanical right. portion of this kitchen. What do you so got far? going on? Tell me, man. Tell me. So you... this is comes equipped from the factory with a hot dog cooker. That that's not a hot dog cooker. That is a wine rack. No, that's, it is. It's a mini refrigerator to put bottles in there or colas, sodas, whatever you want to put in there. And look on the you could put a box of wine in the bottom. <laughs> right? You can. You can. So on top of that, it's got this this dishwasher, dishwasher back here. Wow. So again, I mean, this is classy, man. This is classy here. The Columbus is a classy rig. Residential refrigerator, okay? Double door refrigerator with the drawer freezer. But tell me about the gas, the gas stove. There ain't. Fine. What are you talking about? No gas. So this is an induction cooktop. Are you kidding me? Black magic, I'm telling you. Nice. I don't know what, what's up with this hookie. Man, thing. that's the way to go. So if I understand correctly, you put the pot on there. You put the water in the pot. 30 will, seconds or one minute? It will boil the water in 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Not minutes, seconds. So, 30 seconds. Yeah, this was created. Easy to clean. NASA did this. Again, you're using the campgrounds electric. Yeah. Fireplace, cooktop. Convection microwave. You'll also notice there is no oven because no. if you've got this, there's no reason. So they took the oven out. They slammed you a, a set of six drawers, so additional storage, which is just downright good planning in my opinion. All 
right? And then behind you, my friend, that's a, a light stick. Well, with that's a, helping us with the, with this show. Yeah, this is probably an expensive piece of. Uh, this is an expensive. But here. there's more. It's a pantry. Look at all that room. More storage up here. Yeah. Bow floor. Not just a great name, but a great product. Affirmative. Seven years. Affirmative. Scratch resistant, stain resistant, mold and mildew resistant, slip resistant. What? Save grandma. Take care of your family. You Save do the kids. not want your grandma to slip on this floor. It happens, folks. Not funny. Oh, it's oh, it's for real. God. It hurts. You don't want. Yeah, no life alert. No you life got alert. Both floor. You don't need life alert. No life. Alert. You're good. No slippage in the Columbus. All right. Well, why don't you show them the the carpet upstairs? <laughs> Come on, try, boys. Try it out. All right. So I, I hate. That I'm always like well, standing hold on, in the hold shower. On. We got we gotta fix the door here. Oh, hold on, you're okay. You're okay. Don't tell me the door stuck this. shut. We got this. Is the door shut? Hold on, man. Oh. Don't do don't do anything yet. So I'm I I don't always want to be standing in the shower, but I'm always standing in the shower because you know what better place to be inside of this showing you, you know. Okay, listen. So there's a turlet, like on you would expect that. But this is brought to my attention by Mr. Todd over there. That is an electric heated towel rack. So this is how you know you're moving up in the world. You buy a Columbus heated. and your, your towels are gonna be warm when you dry off with them. There you go. So I'm in the shower and I've got a thing. I can put my soap right here, right? Or uh, adult beverage, if that's what you do. And then you've got this thing, which makes, you know, washing your pocket. I don't know. You could do anything you want with this. I mean, we're just, right? we're just hanging out. Excuse me? Yeah, we're fine. Speak directly into the mic, sir. Okay, now, I think, um, I think um, that's awesome. And then to be 6'3 and pretty heavy. You're closing up. You know what? Tell me. That's a big shower. I know, man. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. Come on out, man. If you want to put a couple people yeah. in there, you could do well, it. Yeah, I mean, I, you we're not trying to tell you. you no, we're not telling you what want. to do, but if you did it, okay. Check out this king bed. Bam! Bam! So. What is up with this? Huh? Very it's, nice. Listen. Very comfortable. You still gotta try to accommodate the ladies, you know. Yeah, yeah. With a little sparkly headboard. Happy. So look at the side tables, though. This is a thing that I haven't seen. It's super decorative. And I think I kind of like it. Well, you also have king size bed, and you got somewhere to put your your phones. Well, that's what I was talking about. Your Jack. glasses, if you're reading. You could be reading, maybe. Your glasses over there. But you you, you could put. Uh, we're not telling you what to do, but you can put whatever you want up there. Maybe, a little light. maybe if you got some KFC, put the bucket up there. Boom, everything fits. Yeah, you yeah. could. You, I mean, you could eat crackers in, in your bed if you want to. I don't, but I mean, or they, fried chicken or whatever you want to do. Eat fried chicken. Well, cool. So I mean, it comes with this gnarly comforter. This is actually this this is a bear that we killed and skinned earlier. We there's no animals killed on this show. This is not the real bear hide. It's this is what is this called? It's just called nice fabric. Okay, you're gonna rub it off. So <laughs> <laughs> not <laughs> that's rabbit. <laughs> All right, so all right. the ability to move all the way around the bed. Todd's on that side. I'm on this side. Side tables, the whole shebang we showed you. All right, all right so, so let's go to the outside. All right, let's go. There's an outside kitchen. There's lots and lots of things that are on the outside that we're going to show to you guys. Please don't fall down. All right. So moving to the outside now. And as you can see, in the grand scheme of things, or the, wow. the scale Beautiful of this day. machine, I love these awnings. Man. two awnings. It's got an outside kitchen. We set this up at this campground, and now we might just end up staying. Like we started off, we're gonna shoot a commercial, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna stay for the weekend. I, I think we should. I think we should too, I mean, sir. We, we've been working hard today. This is a lot of work. Tell them okay. about the outside kitchen. Okay, well, let me let me, let me me show you the outside kitchen. It's, it's better than telling you about it. So you're saying you want to expand it now? First of all, you know, it's got a cool place out of the way with a safety Yeah, button. really giving you a hard time with that button there, it's buddy. It's okay, because you want it secured. So, outside kitchen. Outside kitchen. So, you know, one thing before you get started that 
is again one of those nitpicky little things that I noticed that a lot of people don't. Metal countertops on the exterior. They're, Solid, no particle board. For whatever reason, you start looking at these trailers, these outside kitchens, and you've got a countertop with a T-molded edge that's yes. for mica or sticks and poo. I don't know what they make those countertops out of. They explode, they fall apart, you don't want that. Steel countertops. That's right. On the Columbus, sir. Now. Make it look good. Make it, it look slick, buddy. Two burners, gas burners. Gas burners. Microwave. Yep. Big outside refrigerator. Dorm you refrigerator. I was gonna hit that. I you? thought you were gonna I hit it. Know. I was yeah, gonna watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> big, big outside refrigerator. Plugins, storage. More storage. More storage. What else can you say? This is awesome. What can you say? You could put a blender over there. Make you some drinks out here. Yeah, you could. Yeah. Because who's driving? No one's, no driving. one's driving. You're that's here. What, that's the fun part about camping. You have a good time. You're at the place where you would typically drive to. Yes. Feels. Absolutely. So let's talk about storage for a minute. Because I like storage. Okay. I'm weird Show about me. the storage, but. All right. So along with a whole uh, boo koodle of features. What you got in there? You look in the front here. You've got your big pass through. That's what you expect in a fifth wheel, which is great. But like on this, this is where your uh, vacuum docking station is. So you clean your bags out here. Wait, wait. They, Are you telling me this has a central vacuum? That's what I'm saying. Totally forgot about that, guys. Central the same. This vacuum. is the same system that was is used on the International Space Station. We think. We no, think. no. Data has confirmed. Okay. Well, yeah. We think. We're... So you've got the central vac. You've got a uh, boss head unit, so you can play on your speakers out here. I got your a what? Partying down, boss. Bo head unit, radio oh, gotcha. situation, okay. we'll call it. Okay. You've got your uh, battery disconnect there, and you also have a, uh, a television. Wow, a swing out. A swing out rig. TV. So if you guys are out here, if you guys watch the games, or the Crocodile Hunter, or whatever you want to watch. You can sit on the awning and or do it. Or Miss State RV Show. Yeah. That's good to watch too. So do you know, I, I heard that our our ratings, more people are watching this show than are watching American Idol. Why? Why is that? Why do you think that is? Uh, probably because of me. Well, probably because of us. So, maybe. Wait, wait. Don't you think it's... We'll leave, you know? we'll leave that to okay, uh, well, interpretation. Right. So, you got outside speakers. You got LED lights. You got slam door. Whoa, package. Jimmy. These are on Class A diesel motorhomes. That's, That's right. That's how tough these are. And these are Class A fifth wheels right here, super classy. So is this gonna is this gonna fade on me in a couple years? Negative, Ghost Rider. Well, how come I see another product fade out there? Well, because some products use cheaper castings for their fiberglass caps. They dye them, they don't paint them. They dye them, they don't paint them. This is a painted fiberglass cap. Did you paint it? I know it was painted because it's Columbus. Cool beans. And it's that mistake. It's that mistake. You can trust us. Well, what else are we going to talk about? I don't know. Well, I just really hope, I hope y'all are really enjoying the show. We appreciate you watching. Seriously, it is this fun going camping with your family and friends. We're not even camping and we're having a good time. Make sure to ask for Brent. Or Todd. Just ask for me. We'll both help you, Todd. I'll, I'll be there too. Right, sure. Maybe so, sometimes. Thank you for watching us. We really do appreciate you guys. Thank you I guys. You Please soon. call us. Thank you. And folks, that's it for another edition of the RV show. Hopefully, you enjoyed our first annual one hour show. Folks, come see us, be a part of our family, get some great deals on an RV, and we'll see you soon.